Hi, Hi I'm Con. Oh, oh uh, I thought, oh, the, what, me? You, oh, uh, no, you go. Okay. okay. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Conrad, the better and, one. And this is SJ Today. We've been thinking here at SJ Today, we want to get to know all the new teachers this year. That's you, Mr. Brunner. You're but right. first, for this week, we're going to interview Mr. Atul Levi. Take it away. So, we'll start. Uh, what is your name? My name is Atul Levi, L-E-V-A-I. It's nice. Uh, what are you teaching here at St. Joe's? I am teaching six different math classes. Six? Uh, yeah, I know you're teaching me geography right now, geometry. Geography. <laughs> it's about the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, where did you where did you graduate? I went to Fairfield U. I got a degree in physics. Oh, that's cool. And then out of college, I came to teach at St. Joe's for my first three years. So yeah. I taught physics, chemistry, and one geometry class. Oh, well, that's cool. And then you went to? New Canaan High School for 37 years. Exactly, yeah. Um, so are you attached to anyone at St. Joe's? Do you have any friends here? It's funny. I mean, there were some people here when I was here. Mr. Mayo was here when I was oh, wow. here. Uh, a couple of the other teachers were students that I had in the uh, early, you know, yeah. I'm not going to tell you how good they were, but, uh, you know. What's your favorite color? Red. Oh, cool. So what's your favorite color? My favorite color? Um, orange. I like orange. Do you have any uh, hobbies? Yes, I like everything. And I like to cook, I like to garden, I like to travel, I like to build stuff. You're a musician. Uh, what yes. do you play? I'm a keyboard player. I used keyboard. to be an accordion player, now I did all of the electronic yeah. organ things and stuff like that. So That's cool. And I, like I said, uh, the last year I was here, I think it was 74, I played the senior prom with my band. We used to, even in New Canaan, every holiday, we couldn't call it Christmas, the holiday assemblies, we used to play for all the kids. So we had a thousand screaming kids, mosh pits, the whole thing. It was fun. <laughs> Weirdest story that ever happened at St. Joe's, probably in teaching. I was teaching next door in three or three. Just 10 minutes before the class, I had a pheasant smash through the glass, <laughs> crashed across the floor, glass, feathers, all the girls' hair and everything like this, and the pheasant was bleeding on the floor. So oh. why did you come to St. Joe's? Um, I came to St. Joe's because my parents wanted me to. They all went here, and it looked like a really great school, so I did that. Um, but there you go. Where are you going to go plan on going to college? You thinking about that yet? No. Pleasure talking to you. Wonderful yeah, interview. Yeah. Another wonderful, outstanding interview for SJ today. I, Back to you. I honestly don't even know what I just watched. It's true. Now stay tuned for a little uh, new old segment, Information Roundup, with our The Funny Girls. Hi, everyone. I'm Allie. I'm Kate. And I'm Catherine. And we are The Funny Ladies. And this is The Information, Information Roundup. Roundup. Walkathon's coming up, where you can listen to songs like A Thousand Miles and Walk It Out, or any other song that even loosely pertains to walking. Any money raised from Walkathon will be used to fund Trumbull's very own Jurassic Park. Want to see the early stage of excavation? Look outside. We have some class cancellations coming up. Jim will now be replaced with digging, math, digging, and English manning the backhoe. Is, that, is any of that true? No, I, I just wanted to say backhoe. They're big, they're sweaty, and they're wearing neon. It's the St. Joe's Gardening Club. Wait, what's that? We don't have a gardening club? Then what's with all the nice scenery outside? Thanks for tuning in to this information roundup. Back, Back to, to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was adequate. That was OK. Next up, we have our annual Halloween episode, where we teach you the do's and don'ts of trick-or-treating. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Russell from SJ Today, on location. This Halloween is going to be a good one, but it's important that we stay safe when trick-or-treating. We're going to show you a couple examples of what could possibly go wrong and how to avoid these situations. Trick or treat! Oh hey, I got some candy inside. Why don't you come in? Yeah! Freeze! This is exactly the kind of situation that you would like to avoid. Always dress appropriately on Halloween and never go into a stranger's house. It's important not to accept candy with open packages. People could put cyanide or razor blades in there. Also, it's just outright unsanitary. Trick or treat! 
Hey, look at you two. Those are creative. Here, an apple for you, an orange for you, and uh, split it. See you later. Ew. Freeze. Try to avoid people who give out really lousy candy. No one wants a banana on Halloween. Or an apple. And as much as we all love citrus, oranges are out of the picture for Halloween. It's important to stay safe on Halloween. Watch out for cars and mayhem like me. That was spooky. Reminds me a little bit of my ex-wife. Know what I mean? Also remember, St. Joe's. For this Halloween, as always, there are a couple rules. No full face masks. No weapons. Father Samil, I'm looking at you. Be creative. And dress appropriately, Eddie Nyland. That's, That's the, the way, way the, the cookie, cookie crumbles. crumbles. Stay, Stay classy, St. Joe's. Joe's. I hate you.